sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Great. We're stuck. You're just making it worse. I come from Colorado. I know how to drive in ice. You mind if I try? I said I can do it. Oh, come on. Catch. Okay, look, you want to sit here and work out your frustrations? That's fine. It'll probably be good for you. But as for me, I'm going to get help for us and Sarah. See if I can find my dad. Wait, your, your dad? For what? Why are we here, Elizabeth? You said you were worried that Sarah was in trouble at the Castleheim Retreat House, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. What? I exaggerated. There is not an actual danger from the Cassidians. You told me the Nick. I know, I know, I know what I told you. I'm sorry. Sarah arranged to meet Nicholas. Oh, so they're on a date. Yeah. A major date, though. I, I think she's gonna go to bed with him. And you drug me out here for what reason? Uh, I did not drag you. Okay. Elizabeth, you knew that if I thought Sarah was in trouble, that I'd stop here. She is in trouble. Oh, which is it? Listen, Sarah's about to make a terrible mistake tonight. I have got to stop her, and you've got to help me. Look, I'm sorry I lied to you. The truth is, I overheard Sarah telling Emily that she was going to meet Nicholas at his family's retreat. Lucky they were talking about using condoms. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear a thing. Thing about it. Oh, I can't believe I let her hustle me out here. Oh, look, I'm worried about my oh. sister. Since when? Oh, and just for the record, I didn't ask you to come along. Oh, no, you just made up some cock and bull story about how Nicholas lured Sarah out to his family retreat to harm her. I'm not gullible enough to believe you. Which means what? You don't care if the two of them sleep together? What are you, the sex police? Look, if Sarah is naive enough to fall for his act, it, it's their business. I thought you cared about her. I do. Believe me, I do. That's why I wouldn't I wouldn't break down their door to, to keep her from sleeping with him. What were you thinking? What, what could you possibly be thinking? You know what, I don't, I don't even want to know what you were thinking. You know, you weren't thinking. You're just doing what you always do, which is being jealous of your sister. Oh, you don't know anything about that. Oh, no? Well, let me tell you something, little lady. The luckiest thing that ever happened to you is that you lost control of this car. Because if I had ended up... You know what? Never mind. Just you'd just be damn glad we didn't end up there. This is all my fault. Well, you got that right. I mean, about Nicholas and Sarah. Just spare me. I started this whole thing. I'm the one who put the condoms in Nicholas's shopping bag at Halloween, and and then he thought that Sarah put them there. That's why. That's why he invited her tonight. Oh. God. I really don't want to hear this. Anybody ever tell you it's not good to cry and drive? You came back. Of course. You're so exasperated with me. I still am. The Spencer men don't uh, abandon women who are stranded alone in their cars. I found a house right down the street and I called a tow truck. They should be here pretty soon. I... It's cold in here. I need to turn up the heat. I didn't notice. Oh. Okay, listen, I'm I'm really sorry for everything I did. And you know you don't you, you don't believe me, but it's the truth. I don't know what came over me. Elizabeth, it's the same thing that always does. You're just gonna have to face it. You got a terminal case of jealousy. You gotta do something about it. I know, I know. And I'm trying. It just seems like even before I realized it, I'm all caught up in it again. You know what I don't get? Is it, you go and instigate all this trouble, and then you just do a 180 and go running to Sarah's rescue. There's a lot of things about my relationship with my sister you don't understand. I think there are a lot of things about uh, your and Sarah's relationship that you don't understand, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. 
You're probably right. Uh, I am. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to go this far. <sighs> it was supposed to be a joke, you know? Putting the condoms in Nicholas's shopping bag and... Hey, it was funny at the time. I guess you had to be there. <sighs> you think I'm a terrible person, don't you? I think you're pretty screwed up, man. But you know, you should try living with an older sister who's always being held up to you as the perfect example. You know, I've heard that one before, Elizabeth, and to tell you the truth, it's getting pretty stale. Oh. <sighs> yeah, you're right. There's no excuse. I was angry and I lost my head. Just do me a favor, though, okay? Stop acting so mature, because I know better. I know that you're crazy about my sister and that you hate Nicholas. So stop pretending like it doesn't matter that she chose him over you. That is not the point. That's not even close to the point. You know what the point is? Is that I wouldn't do something this, this sloppy and out oh. of control. Oh. Right. You're so noble. <laughs> I'd love to see how you'd feel. If you and Nicholas actually lived together as brothers, and your mother always held him up as the smart one, the nice one, the handsome one. You know, believe it or not, Elizabeth, I understand. You know, and there are probably good reasons for it. Believe me, I know. But going about it this way, it's not getting you anywhere. I mean, why don't you just try being yourself? Living your own life. Well, here's the tow truck. Listen, uh, when they pull us out and get us on the road, you have a choice. We're almost to the cast and I retreat house. Now I'm going back home. What about you? I know. I know. It's turning out to be a perfect day, you know? Sarah loses her virginity, and it looks like I just lost my job. Poor Elizabeth. Mm. Looks like Nicholas is some quick worker, ain't he? That's not funny. Hey, Lucky. Liz, a word? Maybe you can get your money back. I don't understand. Well, you know what? You should just stop lying, Liz, because Nicholas and I both know that you planted those in his bag. Oh, Sarah, it was supposed to be a joke. Nobody's laughing. Are you going to tell Graham? I'll consider not telling her under one condition. Anything? That you talk to the school counselor about this. Okay. Absolutely. I'll bring it up at my next session. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. If you skip another session, then I'm going to tell Graham. Sarah, I was really busy. Oh, I'm sure you were. It must have taken a lot of thought, picking out exactly what type of condom would be appropriate. Look, Liz, this is fair warning for you. If I find out that you skip another session, not only am I going to tell Graham about the condoms, I'm also going to tell her about those test answers that you planted on me. And if you don't think I will, Try me. <laughs> <laughs> 